Hey everybody, this is David Trungel. I am the owner of TraderTours.com. What I thought I would do here is fire up the computer and briefly discuss this idea of gambling and the stock market. And we all probably have heard at some point somebody say that you should not buy stocks because it is simply a form of gambling. And I think that Whoever says that is really leaving a lot out of the picture because the more thought I've given this, the more convinced I am that the stock market is not a form of gambling. And I would like to start off with defining what gambling is. So I suppose everybody has a different definition, but to me, gambling would be a scenario where you are wagering your money despite being at a statistical disadvantage. Or perhaps it could be a situation where you are, again, just throwing out your money and leaving it up to chance. There really isn't a whole lot of analysis involved. So betting on slot machines, that'd be a great example of gambling. Um, going to the roulette wheel, you know, whatever you throw out on the table, there's a very high probability that you're going to lose whatever you put out, but you also could double your money in a very quick time period. Now, to me, the stock market doesn't work anything like that. In fact, if you stick with major exchanges such as the NYSE or the NASDAQ, and let's just take the company uh, Apple, for example, a multi-billion dollar company. Now, the odds of Apple going to zero are extremely slim. The odds of Apple going to zero overnight are slim to none. And that's my second argument, is that the market is an ongoing game, and at any given point, you can enter or exit the market at your will. Whereas if you went to the racetracks or, again, put money down at the roulette table, there's really no getting out of it. You're either going to lose 100% of your bet, or you could perhaps double your money. Now, the other thing to note is that when you purchase a stock, you could certainly make more than 100%. Now, typically, it's going to take time. You don't just hit 100% returns on a stock overnight, even though it is possible um, the likelihood of doubling your money, especially consistently uh, on every trade. Just that's not really a realistic expectation. You are going to have trades where you're going to lose, and I think it's important to mitigate your risk by simply implementing something such as a stop loss or just having some sort of an exit plan. Now, if we look at this discussion a little bit deeper, the S&P 500, for example, rises 72% of the time. Now, if you look at a historical graph of the S&P or the Dow Jones, it doesn't take much of a trained eye to realize that in the very long run, stocks tend to go up. So they actually rise more than they fall. And of course, there will be market resets. We had one in 2008. We had one in 2000 during the dot-com bubble, 1987. I'm sure we will have another one at some point down the road. But the point being, stocks are a safe, or I should say a reliable investment in the very long run. Now, if you were just to mindlessly buy and hold the market your entire life, I think that statistically you would come out as a winner. But I don't necessarily advocate that because I think we can do a lot better than just aimlessly buying and holding. I think that adapting to trends and researching technical analysis can be uh, quite conducive to making stock profits. And I think the more research you do, the more experience you gain, the greater statistical edge you can gain over the market. So if you take me, for example, I've made a lot more money than I've lost in the stock market, and this is over the course of many years. So. I don't consider myself a gambler. I consider myself a speculator that has a statistical edge and you can absolutely control the odds unlike if you walked into a casino. So hopefully this uh, provides a little bit of insight and opens up a discussion. Feel free to drop a comment or shoot me an email. would love to hear what you have to say.